Hey YouTube, Awesome Rider here. This is going to be my review for the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Pink Power Morpher. This is a special edition based solely on the Pink Ranger that they announced at a Pink Ranger centered Fan Friday where they announced this and the helmet and a Pink Ranger 2 pack and it's sort of also a little bit like the movie morpher for MMPR Pink but it's also not. Um, but let's just talk about the box first because Lightning Collection always has exciting looking boxes and this still looks cool. It looks sleek. I love the art on it. You got the Morpher featured there. It looks really professional. Different than the regular one because that one featured the Morpher there with the coins. Kind of disappointed it doesn't just because I kind of wanted to display it like that. But, you know, it's still nice looking. And then it says up here, it talks. Ah! Then at the top here you have the other art for the other Rangers because their coins are included. It shows off that it has sounds for all of them but pretty par for the course stuff but it looks pretty good. This is a very strange release. Uh, stay tuned to the very end of the review where I give my thoughts on what a strange release this is. But let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing. So you have all five power coins just like the main release. I got Kim's main one in there, but then you get versions of the other four, which I will show a comparison to here in just a minute, but they're nearly identical. There might be a slight difference, but you'll see that in a minute. And I recorded this out of order, so this is a timey-wimey review, but just so you know, all of them do also have the same backs because the original versions also had the little ranger helmets there. I forget to show that in the future, and instead of re-recording it, that will be upwards of two minutes of work. I'm just gonna show that now, but they're basically the same coin. There might be a slight difference. These seem a little bit brighter sometimes, but it's not like the legacy ones where you had some sort of aged looking ones and then some really bright ones and some in between. They're nearly identical, but you do get all five of them just like before. And then in lieu of that, if you don't want to display all five coins because you have the original one, you get these pog looking things of various moments from the show you can see around here. And they literally are just cardboard, like, pog-feeling things. I mean, if they wanted to do a Pink Ranger tribute thing, they should have done Chloe's Morpher with her togs and her Tomadinky and a burrito. There, that's an instant win. So, I mean, this is actually kind of neat in a way, just because, again, I have the regular Morpher, so it's gonna create kind of a, a repetitive display. So it's, it's kind of a cool idea, um, and they're pretty cheap to include. They do feel and look kind of cheap, even though I kind of like the idea. Um, I'll get into some thoughts on what I would have rather seen them do in terms of what they could have done with this release with coins and whatnot, but we'll not talk about that now. We'll talk about talking about it now. But now into the actual thing. The stand here, the only putting together aspect of it is you just have to plug that in, and I'll probably mention this again later because Future Me recorded this out of order, but it's the same exact stand as the original one. You know, at least it's 99% identical. And then you have this holster here, which is pink, just like the movie, and then you can put it in there. It's super easy, but we're gonna set it aside right now. And here you have the base morpher, which basically it's kind of like the design of the movie morpher, where you had the red here and then just the individual color. But they don't call out the movie. I'm not sure why. I don't know if there's any rights. Kerfuffle. I'm sorry I just used the word kerfuffle. But that would have been another cool way to differentiate this morpher. Again, in the final verdict, I'll go over a couple thoughts I have on a way to differentiate it. But I think for the most part... Um, that's gonna make a noise now and you'll hear the standby noise when it shuts off here in a second. It's not a bad morpher. I thought the lightning morpher, the original one, got a bad rap. I thought it was mostly pretty good looking. You know, not perfect, but pretty good looking. Same point stands for this. I still think it's fine, but it's not that great either. Like, I'm gonna mention this again later, but you have this part here showing, which in the movie I believe it didn't. So if you want this for a movie morpher, it doesn't have that. And you can see mine also has lots of scuffs on it. You might not get that, but that's an unfortunate QC issue. And it's just like... There you go. So now I did the standby noises. And then you got the pink coin here. Let's open it up. You can see the nice lights. Thank you, spoiler alert. There's the pterodactyl coin. And the thing with this is, you get Kim's morphing noises with discount Kim, you know, stock Kim or whatever. I don't know if they got Megan to record it, because I know she does the voices for the games. But it sort of sounds like her, but it also sounds like it's not. But anyway, so you get basically a bunch of phrases for it. So let's put this in, right? It's Torfin Mime, speaking of Hyperforce. It's Morphin Time! See? <laughs> Man, how long is this gonna go? I gotta get going here. It's gonna cut to when it stops. Wish I could do that in real life. There we go. And then you push the button and you do get a bunch of different phrases. No, I'm, I'm good. Pink Ranger here! Oh, thanks. We've got this! Got what? Pterodactyl! There we go. Weird. That was a cat. Powering up in pink! Let him have it! Pterodactyl! It's morphin' time! Here. 
There we go. I don't know if I said that one already, but that reminds me of the um, one she's getting in the Megazord. So then you do have different phrases for these, but you don't get their voices. You just have Pink Ranger, quote unquote, saying things about them. Yellow Ranger, it's your turn! Power up, Yellow Ranger! Aisha, time to morph! And notice it's the season two cast. She stole it! Kicking it over to Triceratops! What are you, a radio DJ? Blue Ranger, it's your turn! Blue Ranger, power up! Belly, time to morph! Triceratops, time for action! Stole another one. Kicking it over to Mastodon. Black Ranger, it's your turn. Power up, Black Ranger. Adam, time to morph. Mastodon, time for action. Right, looking good, Rocky. She doesn't say that. Funny if she did. Yeah, the Red Ranger power coin. God, she stole all of them. Kicking it over to Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus what? You have to Tyrannosaurus your source. Red Ranger, it's your turn. Power up, Red Ranger. Okay, so there you have it. So you can see it does have the different color LEDs, and I will say that I'll probably mention this again in the future, but the sound on this does seem to be a little bit more clear than the regular one, which is kind of nice. And it's kind of cool that they all have multiple phrases. The original one just had the the morph like call out and then some noises, but this one has a couple phrases, which at least is nice. It gives you a bang for your buck in at least some way. And I also want to note that this does have that weird like helicopter alpha noise. Alpha, are you a Spanish? So now let's go ahead and let's compare this to the original version and then I'll be doing some footage comparisons to the legacy versions and I also have a couple power coins to compare it to. Okay, so let's compare these two. So they have the same exact black stand. That's obviously the same thing. And then the difference here in the holsters or whatever is that it is pink to represent, well, the Pink Ranger. And also I believe it's what it looked like in the movies. So you have that difference there, but it's basically same exact mold. It's just in a pink color. So you have that difference there. Now, just for looking at them side by side, the silver paint to me looks identical in terms of sheen. Like maybe there's a slight difference, but for me, I mean, maybe this is slightly lighter, but I can't tell if it's really like that or if I'm just trying to think of a difference in my head and my mind is playing a trick on me, but that's, it's not a huge difference. The only major difference I would say is that mine has scuffs on it here on pink. This one's totally fine, but I have scuffs on mine, but that could be independent to mine. You know, there's a little dent here. You might get a perfect one. You might have one that has a dent here, but very comparable in terms of the silver. Again, maybe this one shines a little bit more, but it's not a huge difference. Obviously, then you have the pink color here on the outside instead of the black color. And then right here, you know, it says Power Rangers, but you can see here, it says Power Rangers, but it just looks like the, the sticker's been removed. It's not really like a sticker, but you know, it looks like it's been removed and the indent is there, which is weird because as I said, this is sort of representing the movie morpher in a way, even though they're not directly saying it. I don't think that was their intention. I'm not sure. But if I recall in the movie, you didn't see that. It was just straight up red. And that's also what the legacy one looked like. You like the legacy Tommy movie morpher, I think was just straight up red. So if you want this for like an MMPR pink movie morpher, this is a little bit of an inaccuracy. It definitely sounds like a nerdy nitpicky inaccuracy, but still. The back both have the Z for Jew Ranger. You obviously have pink plastic here instead. Open them up. And then you can see the differences there. One thing that's kind of cool about this is you have this, sort I guess you have this sort of lightning effect here as well. You can see on the outside like on the show, but it really shows up more on the pink one, which I think is kind of neat. 
but you get a lot of the same similar sounds. For me, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but this one sounds a little bit clearer, which is kind of nice. Uh, and they both do that thing when you hold them down, that, that thing I showed earlier. Just for sound comparison, you know, here is... So you have the stock Kim voice, which is my favorite version of Kim, not a lot of people know that. And then... You have one that actually sounds like Kim. Like these all, I don't remember if they ever said they were sound bites from the show, but if not, they were fairly close. But that's all you get. That's all you get. You just get the morph noise and then the oh, That sounded like the It movie trailer. But you just get that. This one has multiple phrases. And you can mix and match them, but it doesn't make much of a difference. Just to show you. You know, here, this is the Mastodon from the Kim one. So it's not like it's a full-on tokusatsu writer belt with differences. But now let's compare the coins. They are pretty much nearly identical. Again, there could be a slight difference that someone out there is like, I can't believe you didn't notice this is a 0.4 gold and this is a 0.3, but they're nearly identical here. We get the Tyrannosaurus ones together. And this, these ones look maybe a little bit brighter. Maybe it's because they're, they're brand new and these have got oxidized or something. I don't know science, that's probably not true, but you know what I mean. These maybe look a smidge brighter. But it's one of those cases where I can't tell if it really is different or if I'm just looking at it so long hoping for a difference. But it's nothing revolutionary that I would buy one or the other over for complete accuracy of this. I guess this one's a little bit brighter here uh, and you can see the details a little bit more. But again, they're so close. So you can see it there. And then here it is. This, I do not have the original Legacy release on hand. Again, there'll be footage playing throughout this video of past reviews to be able to see it, but this was the standalone release from the Legacy line where they just released the coins as a set. Um, so it's a little bit of a darker gold there. And then just for, you know, the heck of it, here is the Ninja Crane coin, which also came in it. And I showed this in the other one and it can't really fit or click in because it doesn't click in the same way. But if you're really careful, rest there so you can rest it and put it on display if you want. Uh, so you can do that, but just rem remember that it doesn't click in like that. It's not gonna be the same type of fit. Like I said, I'll do a little comparison just to show you, especially um, the White Ranger Morpher so you can see sort of the differences of a, a comparable one. About play it on the side right now, a comparable one of the movie release. And then like I said, also um, the coin from the original Legacy one just so you can kind of get an idea of that. Okay, so to cut to the chase for a final verdict for those that are here trying to figure out if they want to get this or not, do I recommend this? Not really. It's not that bad of a release. Honestly, just like the regular one, I think it's a solid morpher. If you don't get scuffs on it, it looks good. You know, it's got a fair amount of sounds. The, the LED differences are cool. It's a little bit clearer. You know, if you're a huge Pink Ranger fan, it's kind of neat. But I just don't know who this is for. I would say, as far as a recommendation, if you're a huge Pink Ranger fan and this appeals to you and you really want a sort of movie morpher, then I don't think you'll be that disappointed. But otherwise, for everyone else, I just can't really recommend it because it's just such a weird release. I can recommend it on sale if you're a completionist, but just for a full price second morpher, it's just a weird release. So that's my recommendation. I wanted to get that out of the way because I want to just give some random thoughts that this is just such a strange release. I respect the idea of them wanting to give the girls focus and doing that Pink Ranger Fan Friday, but it's just so weird that this is our second Power Morpher release. You know, I assumed it was going to be Green Rangers or Slash White Rangers or uh, the Master Morpher, and I could totally see them dipping into the MMPR well to do something like this, like do Tommy's Morpher, the Master Morpher, and then they do a character one for each of them. I could totally see them doing that. But it's just so weird for the second release, and again, it looks like the movie Morpher, so they could have marketed it that way. You know, if it were me, these are kind of a cool substitute. I don't necessarily need second coins. I know some people might like having the second coins, but I already have a bunch of coins from all these previous releases. I have so many coins, I'm going to start carrying around a coin purse. I would have marketed it as a Kim and Cat Morpher with the movie. You have both Pink Rangers on there. You have movie Kim, you have regular Kim, and then you include just this coin and just the movie um, slash ninja crane coin. And then you have sounds for both Kim and Cat in there at least make it a little bit more unique. This is just kind of weird with the other coins being there and then these, it feels like it's kind of forcing it. I think there's another way to do some potential female focused ones later, but this is just such a weird release. That's the thing about this is I don't hate this and I'm not like stay far away from it. It's an awful toy. 
I just think it's a very strange release that's for a very niche, niche audience. But that will close it out there. That was enough rambling for this one. Thanks everyone for watching. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get notifications for all my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.